Our person of the week is the king of big Hollywood movies right now, a man with infinite imagination. But he says his sense of wonder goes back to something he bought years and years ago. So what is it? Here's ABC's David Buer. Sure. Action. This weekend, J.J. Abrams will boldly go where he's actually gone before, which is why the stakes are even higher. The sequel to his wildly successful reboot of Star Trek, now in theaters across the country. But as an artist, his eyes first opened to another galaxy when he was just a boy. Nicknamed J.J. by his parents, Jeffrey Jacob Abrams was born on Long Island. And one of these kids is J.J. <laughs> and much like the characters in his very personal movie, Super 8, Get the lights and camera set up on that end. J.J. shooting on 8mm Super 8 films as a boy. The camera given to him by his grandfather. I loved my grandfather. He got me a, a Super 8 camera when I was 10 years old. And it wasn't just that little camera, because along with the movies, there was magic. He speaks of his trip to a magic shop in Midtown Manhattan as a boy. We went back to find it today, and it's still there. JJ still has the magic box he bought there as a boy with so much wonder. He revealed it during his TED Talk. So one of the things that I bought at the magic store was this. Tannen's Mystery Magic Box. On the outside, that big question mark. Inside, you can hear the contents rattle. But decades later, it is still unopened. The mystery far greater than what's inside. That is awesome. That director, producer, driven by mystery, like his audience. What's a bigger mystery box than a movie theater? You know, you go to the theater, you're just so excited to see anything, the moment the lights go down is often the best part. Even his actors know the story of that mystery box still unopened. Zachary Quinto plays Spock. He's never unlocked the mystery mm -hmm. in that box. Mm -hmm. That's what and keeps him going. It's an art, I feel like. It's something that he embraces, and it's something that he inspires in everybody that he works with. But long before he reimagined Star Trek, J.J. Abrams behind the TV hits Felicity, Alias, and Lost. His screenplay for Taking Care of Business picked up while he was still in college. I think one of the, the best uh, pieces of advice was from my dad, who, when I was thinking about going to film school, said it's, it's more important that you go off and learn what to make movies about than how to make movies. And believe it or not, after Star Trek, bringing back Star Wars is next. You have control your fear. Who takes on Star Trek and Star yeah, Wars? J.J. Yeah. Abrams does. I was like, wait a minute, what? There's a wrong word after Star. Uh, and, then, and then it dawned on me about, you know, 10 seconds later, and I was like, of course, of course. Driven by one simple notion, follow what you feel. That thing that you feel, if, if you really feel it, other people do too, and, and that's something that is uh, to be, you know, mined and to be, to be celebrated. And we choose J.J. Abrams, who reminds us the questions in life are exciting too.